Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Connie. So I'm coming on today to share with you the second part of the pumpkin carving paper piece process. We're going to do the actual boy portion of it. But I just wanted to quick share with you the shiny part of this is the glossy accents I put on the pumpkin seeds and the scoop from the first process video. So I'm going to get that out of the way and go ahead and get started. And eventually when I can find paper, I will hopefully share with you the scrapbook layout process. So I've got the pumpkin cut out and these are fairly good size and I wanted them that way for a reason just with the layout I'm doing that I have in mind. So the other, the first piece I did and I think I forgot to mention it on the first video, it's about six inches high. Uh, how I size them in design space is from ear to ear on the head, so from ear to ear from the outside, it's about two inches. So um, part of it is the pumpkin is quite a bit bigger, so that is the focal point of the project, so to speak, because they're carving them. So. That's part of why it's bigger, but it also, like I said, it works with my um, layout and I'm going to try using some flip flaps. Again, that is just my thought for right now for some of the photos. We'll see. Things change when I actually get to doing it. so. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put the mouth on first. I will again be putting glossy accents on here on just the mouth, eyes, and nose. And that's just so it looks like it's shiny from the inside. I don't have a way to really give it a glow and I don't want glitter. And I don't want anything glow in the dark, so um, that's my reason for the oops, glossy accents. Ugh. Let's see. This wants to there bend the wrong way. I'm trying to use up paper from my stash, and this is uh, this yellow is lighter paper, lighter weight. It's not American Crafts or anything. And oops, let's get some glue on this eye. So anyway, um, yeah, I... Just kind of going by the photo there. I'll be happy when some of my older paper is... My colored cardstock anyway is used up. My mother was trying to tell me that she has a bunch at her house. She was looking at my cardstock and I'm like, um, I'll come and look at it. I just, I can only imagine her idea of cardstock. She doesn't do any of this. She has no clue. She just goes by feel and I have a feeling if it's what I think it is, it's not, not for this. But I, you know, appreciate that she thought of me. I'm trying to get this on straight. That's the straightest for me as I can get things. Okay, I'm gonna come in with the knife, and there's this little part. Just gives a little dimension to the top. Oh goodness, I'm just trying to get it on there straight. And a bit about the knife. There's a t piece that sticks out taller, and then there's this little wider piece. This little wider piece is the bottom of the knife, and it is what goes behind the handle. And I just line up the bot or top of the knife with basically ugh, the uh, 
about the first tooth of the knife. And you know, try to get it straight in there. Straight up and down and kind of centered. Okay. Got the little boy's head done. So good. I'm trying to put things as I go out of the way. And then I'm going to put the arms together. I don't always work from top to bottom or bottom to top. I kind of put things together and then I piece them a lot of times. Oops, there's the arm. I like the faces on these little guys. Uh, some of the newer faces, I don't care for all of them, but I do like these. I like the older style faces. I like the teardrop eyes too. But that's just me. Okay, now we're gonna get this started to put it together. So I've got the pumpkin, and then I have his t-shirt. This goes behind the pumpkin a ways. So make it a little more sturdy. Put some glue on that. And then I just put some glue on his shirt. And I will use my grid to attempt to line it up. Whoa, that's way too high. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna go about there. Get it in the middle also. Okay, first arm I'm gonna put is the one over here. And it goes out just, just a little. I'm gonna go ahead and put his hand on too because there's really nothing that it's holding on to or anything. So it can go on right away. Just kind of put it here. Okay. And I'm going to put the head on first and I'll go, come back and reinforce it in a moment, but I want the head on so I kind of know a good spot to put that arm. Just helps me gauge it better. Oops. I think that would be my only uh, suggestion on this file is it needs a neck. I'm just cutting a piece of scrap for the back piece of the head so I don't forget to reinforce it right away. I've just got a piece here. And again, it just keeps it from flapping quite so bad. Well, if it will stick, my... Okay. And then I'm going to put this piece on. Now this is going at an angle. It's not going to go down like this. It's coming out. Uh, so... That's why I didn't put glue all the way down there. And then this is going to come about like this. So we'll put some glue down here. And I'll put some glue up here. Then we can take his hand. Okay, this one there's not near as much to it. You don't have the pants and everything, and so 
Uh, just kind of gauging. Let's put the stem on first. There. And I'll put some glue on here. Put it down a little bit. Again, because we've got the leaves there to care or to take care of it. And I did put I used colored pencils and just put a line in the the middle of the leaf here. I don't know if it shows real well on on the camera, but I just I used my colored pencils quite a bit to uh, enhance my paper pieces. Excuse me. Okay, so there is the finished piece, and I'll bring in again the other one. And I have the title done, but I just don't have it quite ready. So I'm going to zoom out again a little bit. And there you have, you see both of the pieces there. And I want to thank you for joining me. Like I said, I will come back hopefully and get the uh, layout done when I'm ready. So thanks for joining me. Have an awesome day. Take care.